The Arizona Supreme Court heard arguments today in a challenge against Prop 208 or the Invest in Ed tax. Voters approved it last November. It's a tax on high earners in Arizona designed to boost school funding, but not everyone thinks it was approved fairly. Were voters misled? Fox 10's Danielle Miller has more. If Proposition 208 stands, Arizona will have one of the 10 highest individual income tax rates in the entire country. That's important because it doesn't just affect the so-called wealthy of, of Arizona, but also small businesses. Voters approved Prop 208 back in November. The proposition places a 3.5% tax surcharge on any income above 250,000 for individuals and 500,000 for couples. Those representing the plaintiffs in this case arguing today the prop is unconstitutional and it wasn't presented to the voters correctly. They say a significant amount of money won't legally be allowed to be spent and will just sit in an account because that amount would put schools over the legal spending limit. Millions and millions, hundred millions of dollars on education right now. That was the bargain presented to voters. So the two things that the court knows objectively about severability is what the voters were told and how clearly it passed. So let's say that there's a hundred million that can be spent. There's still $600 million that is not available to be spent. So we still have a ripe controversy, even if the court gets into this. Those arguing for the prop say that money in the account could be used another year. They say the voters have spoken, and if overturned, it will be confusing. We're looking forward to um, uh, another decision in our favor. And what's most important is that we get these critical resources into our schools. We can hire more counselors and nurses. We can be uh, have competitive wages and salaries for our classroom teachers and everybody that works in schools. That's what the voters told us that they wanted. The court will come to a decision at a later date. We will keep you updated as the story continues. Danielle Miller, Fox 10 News.